Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your money, career, finance, focus reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, please keep in mind this is your general money reading for the month of May 2023. It's a group reading. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you want to connect with me for a personal private reading or a healing process for your money, jobs, blockages, business expansion, new project or any other difficulty you're facing, you can connect with me on my email ID for reading and healing purpose. I'll take you personally from there and all personal private reading and healings are paid process. Please connect with me with that understanding only. I really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now I'm going to pull out few oracle cards and I'm going to pull out tarot. I'm going to clarify all these oracle cards with the tarot cards. And then in the end, I'm also going to pull out the, uh, you know, the angel of abundance message for you to see what angels uh, brings into your life in the month of May 2023. So I'm now pulling out the Goddess Oracle. You have go outside. Inner Goddess. High Priestess. You have number six, Swan Spirit. Number four, cat spirit. Number, this is number 14 and five. This is number five, star fish spirit. So before I move on, six, four, and five. Let us see what angels has to tell us. Six, four, and five. And the theme is the angels are by your side, Scorpio. Every step of the way as you embark your, upon your new chapters in your life. Now, this is a clear indication, clear signal that something new professionally, money-wise, job-wise, business-wise, whatever you do, for few of you, I also sense you will be starting something part-time freelance as a consultant, advisor, or a creator. So, the angel says that they are actually by your side and they are giving you an intimation a signal, a sign and a symbol that they are with you on the new chapter in your life. Be ready. A lot of you will be starting something new of your own for sure. And let us see what Moonology has to say. Moonology many times give good time period as well. Let us see what messages do we have. Angels and spirits. Messages from Moonology for my dear Scorpio. So I do have the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. You have the cardial moon. And you have the Virgo season presence in your reading. Okay. And I'm going to clarify these oracle with the tarot cards in a while. Now it says time to take a deep dive. Time to move intensely. Think deeply what you want to do next. And if you have something in your mind, your idea, your creation... Please plan about it. Please make an intense strategy. So working at the surface level, Scorpio, is not going to work for you anymore if you have been doing that. You need to go deep inside that what you need to do, the next which is coming into your mind. And there will be uh, the starfish spirit says that there are a lot of infinite possibilities coming your way. Yes, there are multiple opportunities and I do sense that the opportunities are going to be absolutely 100% a fit for you. I do not see that you will be uh, moving into adjacent possibility or something similar. But I do see that a lot of things which you will be welcoming from the month of May to the Virgo season, which is September, you will be welcoming a lot of multiple divine opportunities which is related to your financial life which is related to your career to your money and it's time for you to claim your independence you need to you need to trust your independent skills in the sense that yes you can pull out things very well on your own 
so the cat spirit says it's time for you to claim your independence that solely you are powerful enough to do things on your own you are capable en- enough of pulling a job or pulling a project on your own you are sufficient your skills and competence are absolutely appropriate for the new work so just claim your independence now if i see your goddess oracle it says go outside you have been indoors too long go outside and get some fresh air this means that whatever you were doing right now please explore something out of your comfort zone because you have the capability for a lot of you it also says that if you are working from home you may try going out for the opportunities and for few of you the card says that you have spent enough time in a particular set of work in a particular kind of job in a particular kind of project move out of the organization look for the changes even if you get a better opportunity out of town out of country you must explore things outside so a go outside card has a multiple meaning in a reading and you know in what situation you are are you working from home only do you wish to go outside are you working for the same time of work do you wish to shift your work outside are you working in the same company and you feel that growth is not coming i'm not able to grow then it's time for you to move outside so for everyone the meaning of go outside is different you need to see you need to do your homework you need to do your self introspection that what does that go outside mean for you it could be moving out of your comfort zone out of your luxury out of your limitations out of your boundaries it's a very important card in your reading scorpio think about it it's give you a food for thought the other card is in our goddess and it says awaken the goddess within you through dance self care and appreciating your divinity now in order to go outside you need to come and be again very very cheerful motivated and enthusiastic to go for it the enthusiasm should come from within and do take self care the high priestess says you have divine knowledge that can help other through your spiritual teachings now this is also about infinite possibilities this card is actually giving you an indication that it's time for you to even put your hand try your luck try your destiny try your fortune into spiritual occult services as well that could be teaching that could be healing that could be helping others but the card says that it's time for you to explore what you can offer to others now if i see your interesting moonology reading related to money career and finances the card of independence is leading to the bold and making the first move so in case you have an idea in your mind please know that in the whole reading the angels want you to take the first step the angels want you to take the initiative the angels want you to take the bold and the confident and the courageous step that yes you can do that so your own confidence is going to give you know and if, even if you see the card new moon in virgo it says a time to give rather than take now there are multiple cards into your reading which is telling you that any profession which is related to giving to others or which is talking about service which is meant for people helping other any service industry any kind of service work to human kind mankind that can lead to a very fulfilling and a prosperous career and the card says that have faith in your dreams so if you feel that oh my set target my set intention is very far very difficult have faith when you will start helping others in return you will get the help tenfold so god is actually giving you the indication that if you have set something very difficult for yourself or if there is something a big difficult problem when you start helping people you know the other people selflessly simultaneously your dreams will be fulfilled you will get unexpected magical help and in that ways your dreams are going to get fulfilled so the angel says have faith in your dreams the dreams are definitely going to get fulfilled for you for sure now let us see what tarot cards do we have in clarification for you i'm going to pull out number of tarot cards to see what is your detailed situation money career finances scorpio for the month of may and we have page of pentacles yes 
the idea is definitely a good idea if it is going on in your mind going to bring lot of money money associations to you lot of you know luck is going to come to you so yes give motivation give encouragement to good idea which is coming to your mind page of pentacle is also a card which says that if the opportunity is coming to you please know the opportunity is going to be well money sounded opportunity that is going to give you growth money wise and financially for sure so i expect that the lot uh, the opportunities will start pouring up from the month of may and it will go up to the month of virgo and here comes the 10 of swords which is a 100% claim that there is an end to a difficult situation going on there is an end coming to a prolonged situation where where in some what you were feeling breathless suffocated that oh i cannot pull it more and you will say that i am done with my limitations i am done with my boundary and i am done with it and you move on to a new opportunity yes there could be a loss of emotions or the loss of hard work which you feel oh i have done so much of hard work it was my time to reap the fruit but then you are ending up with a difficult situation close it if a if closure is coming just be very gratitude full of gratitude with grace close that option and move on to the new option because either way is you are coming into a new possibility and here is the high priestess now high priestess has come to your reading toys it says that there could be little confusion illusion dilemma but it is a time when you need to trust only your inner feeling only your gut feeling and when high priestess comes into reading it says don't take an uh, abrupt or a uh, ad hoc action there is something hidden from you which you need to know there is something very important for you which is important while you are making a decision you know wait for things to get unfolded wait for things to surface at the surface level and accordingly you take the decision but then it tells you to wait and be and you know trust your intuition completely this month your gut feeling is going to be your guiding force in the month of may you also have a card of knight of swords now you do have a very strong presence of libra gemini aquarius energy the fire signs which says that communication is going to be very important for you this month and knight of swords says that there will be movement there will be lot of action but then knight of sword has a quality that they do not listen to their well wishers advisers and they quickly they are so much involved in their speed in the fast action that they hurt themselves or later on they repent so in order to avoid that situation please know be slow take conscious decision don't be in hurry don't take abrupt ad hoc you know untimely action even if you want to take a decision rethink about the decision again and again give time to yourself and if you feel that oh after waiting for a month or so i'm still on the same decision then take that decision but be very careful consult your advisors and you have the major beautiful energy of sun bringing that hope determination new powerful changing light a hope to your dreams a promise to your dreams and with this high priestess situation everything will be clear with the light of sun the sun is going to clear every situation it is going to clear your vision clarity is going to come to you your mission your vision of your life professional life will be clear sun brings an end to the dark tunnel and it gives huge light and this also says a new opportunity it is also a confirmation that new opportunity is going to be a luck making opportunity and you will move on in your life by may and with great clarity ahead and this is a brilliant card in any money career reading for sure and you have six of wands oh my god what a powerful lovely ending of the month the month is leading to a closure but it is leading to a super powerful change super powerful win triumph luck and victory because you have sun you have six of swords 
six of wands the presence of aries leo sagittarius energy what a balance reading you have two major arcana cards you have air signs you have earth signs you have fire signs that means you have a great balance a holistic balance this month and may month is going to be maybe a life changing month for a lot of you this is a one of the most successful money career reading for the month now let us see what angel of abundance message you have so if you are going through any competition any interview you are applying for a project you are applying for a deal please take it as a confirmation because there is sun there is six of wands the victory and triumph or you will be the winner out of that competition out of that pool of interview or out of that pool of people who have applied for something so your angel of abundance is donation teething and charitable work give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many folds in miraculous ways the time supplies money or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies each and every day and your last card of the reading is clean energy food when you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet you increase your energy levels and ability to focus this automatically leads to more efficiency better ideas and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationship professional relationship professional network to your life now when i say clean your food that means you need to put a specific attention to your health to the diet to the quality to the quantity of your intake because somewhere down the line your health is going to be a little concern in the month of may it is giving you an intimation and a signal that your health is very important for you to keep on going on your targets to keep on continuing on your professional goals and set targets give attention to your health and food that is very very important do let me know how you resonated with your reading scorpio and i will see you next time very soon be blessed